On a relatively mild midwinter's evening at the foot of the mountains, there was a lukewarm reception for Michael Jennings, who was returning to the ground he called home for six seasons. Understandably, there was nothing mixed about the respect afforded to the late Graham Murray, a man who made a mark at both the Roosters and the Panthers. The locals decided to aim their early traffic at Jennings and came up with a shock four-pointer inside two and a half minutes. John and then a sweep and they're going down to the corner and they score. David Simmons has scored for Penrith. The Roosters responded through their left side, giving Daniel Tupo the chance to atone for his poor read in defence. Double comes Maloney, fires a bullet pass. What a beauty. Out to Tupo and Tupo scores. For the Sydney Roosters. After being the cutout man in Tupo's effort, Jennings kept sniffing around for a homecoming try. The ball is in there for a try. No, Jennings missed it. Well, it's a line dropout. The only way that Jake Friend knows is straight and hard. And his friend the ducking out from dummy half run, which carries him into the end goal. And our man of the match from last weekend scores for the Roosters. That fine contribution from the robust rake was the difference between the two teams after the first 40. And the second stanza began badly for the Panthers when they found themselves mesmerised by Mitchell Pearce. And here is a try for Cordner. He comes up with the mandatory try. With their deficit suddenly doubled, Penrith opted to open things up and test the NRL's most miserly defence. This is Moylan and Moylan. He sees out wide that Farray has got a chance and Farray puts in the second kick. They're flying for the ball. This might be a try. It might be a try for David Simmons. It'll it could have been one of the season's best tries. However, it was cancelled after closer inspection due to David Simmons failing to gather and ground the ball cleanly. It was a costly mistake because the Chooks charged back to the other end soon after. Inside for Guerra and Aiden Guerra scores right under the bar. Guerra got across far too easily and James Maloney didn't meet much resistance either. Pierce on to oh, Maloney. Maloney had just gone through a yawning gap. The points were flowing nicely for the Bondi boys who clearly had too much firepower for the 10th placed Panthers. He flicks one out the back and here goes Kiyobasa Shek. He was there, then he's not there, then he's gone in and he's put it down. It's all over in a flash for Kiyobasa Shek to score. Even without the suspended Sonny Bill Williams, the Roosters ran away with it. And it's Little Maloney again. Cordner joins in. Cordner's away. They're going to pile on a record here. That brought up 40 for the Red, White and Blues, their biggest ever defeat of the Panthers, and a result that all but guarantees them of a top four finish. David Rollins, NRL.com.